Hey everybody, anyone who's here, and I am on the RMCT Feed the Beast server. Love this game. And today, I am going to show you guys a new app I've been working on uh, for ComputerCraft. It's a GPS deployment script uh, for my, uh, Turtles. And I, I really like this thing. I've been spending a lot of time working on it, and I think I got pretty much all the bugs out. Uh, two things that I wanted to point out first is A... I am not a programmer by trade. I am not a programmer by profession. Um, I'm barely one by hobby. Um, so if you look at my code and you think, why the hell did he do that? Or that's not the best way to do it. You're probably right. It's probably not. And feel free to message me and tell me how I could made it better or how bad of a programmer I am. Because I'm probably pretty bad. Though I had a couple people look at it and they said it's not too terrible. Uh, the number two is this application that I am going to show you guys and give you guys to download. And I'm going to upload probably to Turtle Scripts and all that good stuff. Um, was originally uh, from a user named Big Shiny Toys of uh, the ComputerCraft.info forums. Um, he made this script when GPS was first added. When I got to it, 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 it barely worked. It kind of worked if you did everything the way he wanted you to. So I've made a lot of edits to this program. Um, and it, it, in my opinion, it's completely different uh, than what he originally uh, set up. But um, I do still use some of his code. So I just wanted to point out that he is the original creator of this script. If you looked at the code, um, I have it commented at the um, in it, giving him credit. There's also a link in the code uh, to the original forum post where he posted this, and I will also link it down in the description. So um, the first thing you want to do is deploy the GPS in a centralized location, uh, the best you can do, just so you can get the best coverage. So I'm going to deploy it from the top of uh, that tower right there. So let me just get there, um, and I will show you guys how to do it, if I could. There we go. That's how you use a quantum suit. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is you need to face the uh, turtle south. So right now I'm looking south. So when I place the turtle, he is also going to be looking south. Oops, missed it. Okay, so now the turtle is facing south. Uh, oh, and I just broke the turtle. Not sure why. Uh, the next thing you want to do is download the script. Now, I currently already have it download, but just to show you guys what it would look like if you would download it, um, I will redownload it. Uh, now, mind you, if you do not have, if you're on a server and they don't have HTTP enabled, or you're running this in uh, single player and you don't have HTTP enabled for ComputerCraft, you will not be able to use this command. Uh, check out the ComputerCraft wiki for how to disable, uh, to enable HTTP, but I'm pretty sure it's enabled by default. Um, so the first thing you had to do is download the pastebin of the code. Uh, luckily, ComputerCraft comes with a nice application called pastebin. So it's pastebin gets and then the pastebin URL or code or whatever you want to call it of the scripts and what you're going to name the application. Now, you don't have to name it GPS deploy, but the script itself assumes its name is GPS deploy. So when it tells you any type of usage commands or examples, etc., it's always going to use GPS deploy. So you should use it anyways. Download it. Okay, we have the application. The next thing we need to do is we need to find out the coordinates of the turtle because when it goes up to deploy the GPS satellite, it needs to know where it originally started so it knows to tell the GPS satellite what its position is. So we hit F3. You're going to see three positions there, the X, Y, and Z. Now, the first thing I want to point out is X and Z have potentially two different actual positions. So you can see the relative position um, is negative 6.61080. So that means that uh, my feet are at negative 6.61080. And the reason for that is I'm standing on a turtle. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not standing exactly center of the X uh, plane or whatever. Um, but that number is not too useful to us because that's our relative position to where we are. What we want is the actual position of the turtle. Now, mind you, I know I'm standing on the turtle, and you might be thinking, how are you, how's he going to get the right position? Is he going to be up one? No. Um, turtles are less than a block tall. So when you're standing on a turtle, you're actually standing in the same block space or whatever that the turtle is in. So our, our absolute position is not... Uh, negative 6.60534, it is negative 7, and you can see that in the brackets next to it. Um, so that's really important to point out, because if you do not use the absolute positions, it will not work. 
Um, so you call the script GPS deploy. And if I could type, it would work. Um, and then you want to tell it it's X, Y, Z. Negative 7, again, because we're using our absolute position, not the relative position. Uh, 102, which is the Y. Again, even though I'm standing on the turtle, the turtle is less than a block. So my Y position is the same position that the turtle's in. And you can actually see that because the Y position is 102.875, whatever. So uh, 102, and then the Z is 35. Uh, now, I could hit enter and it would start the script. Um, it has no fuel. It has no um, uh, nothing in its inventory, so it's not going to work, and I'm standing on it. So the first thing we need to do is get off the turtle. Um, the turtle needs some stuff to run. First of all, it needs fuel. Oh, I can't do that in here. It needs fuel. So um, throw some fuel in the first position. If you put the fuel in the first position, it will consume the fuel it needs to run. Uh, the second thing it needs is some computers to actually deploy up in the sky. Um, so the second position has to be computers. You need at least four. You can put more. You know what? I'll put one extra. Um, you can put more, but you need at least four. The next thing it needs is wireless modems. Again, you need at least four to match the computers. Uh, the third, well, I guess this is the fourth item, actually. I got to. Uh, the fourth item is the disk drive. And the fifth item is the floppy disk. And like I said, um, after I show you how to use this, I'll explain why this all is in a second. Um, so that's it. So I have a, a, a another option that you could put in there. And if I added something like this to it, that would actually deploy um, the satellite 10 higher than I am right now. So I'm, right now I'm at 102. So if I put this 10 at the end, it would deploy it at 112. That makes sense, uh, but we don't want that right now. We just want to deploy it very generic. If I don't leave anything there, it's going to deploy the satellite up at 254. So I'm going to hit enter. The satellite's going to deploy. It's going to start moving up and I will meet the turtle up there and you guys at 254 because it's going to take it a little while to get there. So I'll see you guys one second. Okay, guys, here comes the turtle, and what you're going to notice is once it gets to 255, it's going to go move forward and drop the first computer, and once that computer gets dropped there, we will get on it so we don't have to keep flying and using our quantum suits. Okay, so it went under it. It put a wireless modem on it. Um, it used the disk drive to get code onto it, and it's running a code on it. It sleeps first, and then once it wakes back up, it's serving GPS, and as you can see, it actually has its correct coordinates. Again, it says negative 7, and our X is negative 6.13, but our absolute position is negative 7. So it's going to go out, and it's going to deploy uh, four, three more of these. Well, two more technically left. Um, as you can see, two of them, uh, the, the north and south, yeah, north and south, are going to be on the highest Y, and then the east and west ones are going to be Y position two below. So it has deployed the satellite, and as you can see, doing the printer thing right there. Um, and now it's going to go back to the middle and go back down to where it came from. Um, so right now we have a working GPS satellite system up here. So let's fall down. Uh, it's going to, and as I said, it's going to return to right there. Okay, let's find a, let's put a computer down somewhere so we can do, uh, test this. So let's come over here. So now the GPS is deployed right up there. So let's, I hear something. Moo, oh cow. Let's put the computer down. Let's give it a wireless modem because it does need a wireless modem to be able to talk to that GPS satellite to get its positions. And let's use the GPS program. And sure enough, it has its coordinates, and just to verify that, as you can see, negative 71, 54, negative 27. Look at that. And we now have a working GPS system on the base. Okay, now that we're back in my workshop and we have a working GPS uh, satellite up there, I could show you a couple more things I have um, built into this app. Now, I just wanted to mention that the GPS node up there is dumb. It's just using the regular GPS host application that comes with ComputerCraft. Um, I plan on making a, um, a more smart 
cluster uh, that you can actually turn on and off and maybe have it communicate with other GPS clusters or whatever the case is, but um, that's not working yet. So it's just a dumb GPS thing. Anyways, so let's plop the turtle down. And again, it has to be facing the south direction. Um, I don't know of how to uh, detect what direction that it's uh, facing. And if there is, I'll figure it out and add it to the script, but I'm not sure. Um, so again, you have to put, uh, the fuel in there. It has a smart refueling option where it will check how much fuel it has, then only try to use what it needs to complete the operation out of this slot. Unfortunately, there's no way to detect what kind of, um, item is in that slot. So it just assumes you have coal. If you have anything like, um, uh, lava or whatever uh whatever other item is it will still actually you know use the right amount and fill itself up but it just might use a little bit more than it needs i can't really do anything about that next slot goes a computer uh then your wireless modem your disk drive and again if you're using a standard turtle and not a mining turtle you have to put four here one for each computer and the disk so um what else can you do with this well um, if you do, if you already have a working GPS and you want to send this up uh, to, you can actually use the locate command, which instead of having to put in the X Y Z of where this uh, the turtle is starting from, it will actually detect it itself and then go up there and place it in the right spot. And then the next thing you can do is you can define how high it actually goes. Um, so by default. If you don't tell it how high to go, it will go up to about 254, I believe it is, like I said before, and deploy it up there. But let's say you had a ceiling over you or some structure over you um, and you couldn't go all the way up. You can actually tell it um, how far to go up. So let's say I made this 20. And this also works if you are going to uh, manually set your XYZ. But we're going to use locate for right now. Um, so let's say you want to only go up uh, 20 blocks. Um, right now we're at Y54, so this would deploy it at Y74. Really that simple. Um, so now that everything is in there, you hit enter, and it tells you actually where it um, its coordinates are. And, and now it's going up 20 blocks, and it's going to deploy a second GPS host. Now, um, something I want to point out is if you're going to use multiple ones, don't actually put them this close together. Um, it can actually cause issues, and uh, if you look on this computer right here, uh, I had this cluster that it's building right now up a minute ago, and when I did a GPS locate, it actually gave me the wrong position, and what you can see is the first three satellites it talked to were three that was right here. Um, you know, at 55, 64, 64, etc. Those three were the ones that are deployed behind me. But instead of getting the fourth one from here, it actually got the fourth one from uh, the GPS uh, cluster above the tower, that negative 7, 254, 26. And because of that, the uh, Y and Z coordinates were off. So just keep in mind that this guy is just finished building. He is going to come back down. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's it. right now. Like I said, I plan on adding more to the cluster software. And I also plan on building a building script that makes use of the GPS cluster. Because what's the point of having a GPS cluster if it's not going to do anything for you? Uh, but that's pretty much it for the script right now. I will be continue updating the script. And um, again, the pastebin is down in the description. Uh, that pastebin will always have the latest stable code. And if I make any updates, you can just keep downloading that. Um, if I really wind up putting a lot of work into this, I might add an auto updating. But right now, this is just a fun side project. So I don't know if I'm really going to do much with it. Um, and yeah, if you have any suggestions, code changes, if you find any bugs, feel free to message me and thanks for watching.